out there, as you guys know, yesterday was Father's Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, your boy, DJ Troy, you know what I'm saying, is a father. A proud one at that too. And happy, you know, to been given the opportunity, you know, to father a child. And it's something that I don't take lightly, you know, because me myself, you know, I've I was I was brought up with my dad, but my dad was always missing in action in different ways. Is either he was either out of the country or you know what I'm saying his job took him different places. So you know, for many years, you know, my father was missing and then you know, I came back, you know, we all came to the country, then we lived together for a while and then, you know, we split up and we got missing again. And that affected me in many ways, you know what I'm saying? It it really created, you know, a lot of internal anguish because, you know, you need to have your father there, you know what I'm saying? You need to have a father that's wholeheartedly there for you and everything. And once you don't have your father, you know, that creates a, a problem, you know, in many different ways. And I think it's something that affected the black men in many different ways. This is why you see so much, you know, crime and violence and these things. Because no disrespect to single mothers out there, you know what I'm saying? Because we see it all the time. The tremendous job that single mothers have done and continue to do every single day. Okay? But there is just something about having a father there that's important. You know what I'm saying? That's critical. That a woman would never really be able, you know, to replace. You know what I'm saying? A woman cannot you know, be a father at any point in time. So, it's one of those critical things where you need to have a father inside the home. Now, with that stating, I'm going to talk about what is it that it means to be a dad. Okay, and mind you, I don't have all the answers. Okay? I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't have all the answers. You know what I'm saying? I know some things, but I do not have all the answers. Okay? One thing that I can tell you is that you need to be there wholeheartedly for your kids. What does that mean? Okay? It means that you're there talking with them through the good, the bad, and the indifferent, okay? It's no longer good enough that you just be the provider, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, I thought that that was just okay, you know what I'm saying? I could tell you honestly that my father was one of the best providers that I could remember, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can never say that I was ever hungry living with my dad. I always could say that I always had excessive amounts of food with my father. And to some people, that that is enough. You know what I'm saying? Some women, that is enough. You know what I'm saying? Some women, that is the pinnacle of what it is to be a man. What it is to be a father. You provide for your kids. You make, you clothe them, you feed them. And you know, you, you put a roof over their heads and life is all good, okay? But to me, that's just part of it. I believe that a father also need to be there emotionally for their child, okay? A father needs to ask their child, how are you doing? What's going on, okay? What is it that you need to talk about? Is there anything you need to talk about? Can I help you with anything? Okay, not just finance, you know what I'm saying? Finance is just part of the battle, but you need, you know, a father needs to be there holistically, okay, for their kids, you know what I'm saying? And it 
makes a big difference because sometimes the fathers who are there emotionally for their kids get more respect than the fathers who provided everything in the world for their kids you know what I'm saying because there's just something that don't matter how you put it there's just some things that money cannot possibly buy okay that emotional support is so critical you know what I'm saying you need to be there for your child okay you need to be there and I'm talking as a child and as a father too you know because I can remember that there are many a times that I'm like yo you know what I'm saying? I need emotional support. You know what I'm saying? And it's not good enough to be emotionally supported your kids. Your kids also need to be able to trust you. You know, when they come to you with stuff, they hear it from you, you know, first and last. Okay, what that means is that your, your child come and tell you something, you're there. And you keep your mouth hush hush. You ain't got to go and tell the old community. I mean, notwithstanding, some things you have to share with your wife, and it's important, but collectively, you know what I'm saying, it should, you know, your child should feel safe coming to you, talking about different things, you know, and that's what I'm talking about when I say being there for your child holistically, okay, and mind you, you're not gonna always get it right, okay? Because that, this is what you call life, okay? You could never get everything right, okay? You could never, you know, there's there's times that you could never get everything right, you know what I'm saying? There's times that, you know, you get everything wrong, and that's okay. But you just have to make sure that you do your best every day to support your child in every possible way as a father okay don't take your role for granted don't take what god has given you for granted just you know be there for your kids okay and you will see the results all right so this is your boy dj troy having my car talk salute to yourself, big up yourself, you know, I'm out, gotta go look me some parking.